presence is a present I cherish every day What I feel inside my heart is more than I could say I wanna be more like you, that will never go away I gotta tell you something if you promise not to run about 20 minutes to midnight and Aslan has started crying which I thought he needed to use the toilet he doesn't he's just trying to get attention because he doesn't want to be in his crate but he's got to be in there I'm happy that his his howls aren't very loud I don't like the neighbors will never hear because of the soundproofing but it's just it's just sad because I feel bad but at the same time it has to be done and I'm not gonna raise a dog that's kind of in like intuitively thinks that whining gets him what he wants and he's starting to he's starting to realize it's not working now because I'm kind of just being chill and just not giving him the attention he wants and to be honest the, the sooner he settles down the sooner we can all sleep so yeah so this is where Aslan sleeps so you can see his toys all here and his food, oh, he's up. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hi. So, as you can see, he's quite ready to come out, but I'm only going to let him out when he settles. Good boy. Sit. 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 All right, I'm going to let him out and pee, and then we're going to go for a walk had his second his first incident of today which literally makes no sense because I tried to take him to go potty and he has peed over here it's a small amount which is good I should have I should have seen it coming I mean look at that face look at that face so right now he's just investigating sniffing around um, I, I don't know when I'm gonna have the chance to clean up his pee um, I might put him back in his crate. Hold on, let's pick him up. Oh, we've got a win. He's going into his crate voluntarily. I've given him some apple and um, I got this little play sheet thing from Amazon. I don't know, he's not a huge fan of it, but he will spend some time on it. Um, yeah, I hope I've not given him too much apple. I gave him about like a quarter of an apple and I just cut it up into little pieces. But... Um, yeah, he seems to be having a decent time with this little... <laughs> Let me zoom in. Oh, you got it in the end, didn't you? That's good. Aslan has had his second accident of today. We were doing so well. And um, we've, we've partially relapsed, but it's okay. It's fine. We'll, we will get there. Aslan now has a routine. It's now been lunchtime. We did some training, so he now knows how to kind of sit on demand, but we're gonna get there. He's now got his Kong and he loves peanut butter and this peanut butter is from Pets, Pets at Home. Focus. Peanut butter for dogs, he's obsessed. So I'm just gonna leave him like that until I've made my lunch and then we can probably Netflix and chill on the sofa. He's already had an accident about 10 minutes ago, so hopefully he shouldn't need to go again. Fingers crossed. The end of day one, and I, when I leave the room, this is how he's waiting for me when I get back, which is so cute. I don't know if this will stay the same as he gets older, but um, it's really, really adorable. He was sleeping on the couch. Um, I'm gonna freeze his Kong for tomorrow, but that's the end of day one. It's actually been very, very decent, and yeah, he's been a good baby. He's peed a few times, but he's been a good baby. 
Hey guys, so I thought I would give you a three week update. So the last clip you saw was from day two. So that was kind of like the first 24 hours of being with Aslan. And honestly, looking back at the footage, he looks so much smaller. He's sleeping at the moment, which is why I'm kind of talking in hushed tones. But um, it's been a roller coaster, but a much smoother roller coaster than I envisioned. If you know, obviously I have health issues um, and I actually had to undergo surgery, but I think because of the research I did and because of talking to other dog parents, I was really able to put in contingency plans and make sure he had a stable environment if anything did happen, which it did. So um, one of the things I did was signed him up for daycare, which I would highly suggest if you're a new dog parent or even if you've had a dog for a while, I think just keeping them socialized with other dogs is so important. So uh, I got him signed up for doggy daycare, which was really good in terms of like making sure that there's a plan B if I can't look after him that day or if I'm busy or if, or if I get really unwell, which luckily that hasn't really happened so far. Um, but the last three weeks have been really good. Like I was expecting it to be bad. Like I was expecting him to be pooing all over my house. I was expecting him to be peeing all over my house. He has had a few accidents, but he's really starting to understand where to go pee, uh, pee, -pee as we call it. Um, and he will, so uh, I have I have a balcony, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know it. I call it the galcony, which is kind of like a big garden slash balcony area. And I just started taking him straight out there. I didn't do the puppy pads. I might do more information on like, potty training and stuff, but I didn't do the puppy pads only because I was concerned that my rug is white, my bed is white, my like, there's so many white things in my house and puppies tend to uh, mistake puppy pads for like anything that's that color, which I think I still had that issue anyway because the stones in my galcony are white, but he's taken to it quite well. Um, on average, he's been having like one accident a day, but like it's a very small amount of pee. Sometimes he'll have no accidents, but like about like nine or eight ten eight times out of ten he'll have a mini accident um but apart from that he's really well behaved um he's very very chill like he does have spurts of energy especially in the afternoon but I, he's not like a huge like hugely rambunctious dog unless he's like playing with other dogs um he's still a little bit shy around people but when we're in the apartment he's very very um, affable and very animated and very friendly um when we're outdoors he's a little bit more reserved but he's coming out of his shell because i'm just making sure i expose him to the world as much as possible because he literally grew up in the countryside um as you saw like it was a it's a very beautiful rural area nothing like living in the city of london and i live in a very busy part of london and there's lots of noise and traffic and trains and you know building works construction people so i'm just getting him used to that but um he's getting there like at first he was really really nervous and like when I would put him in the dog bag he would literally just like hide his head but now he's coming out of his shell um he's also had his second vaccine which he had I believe about two weeks and a half ago so he's going to be getting his booster in two weeks yeah two weeks time so it has been two weeks since he last had his second vaccine he's also had his health check at the vet which went fine although he did pee on the vet's table it was a huge amount of pee he did pee on the vet's table I I think because he was very nervous because she basically stuck a thermometer up his butt bo bo bottom um but apart from that he was really really good um i was able to start walking him around the community garden where i live because all the dogs here are vaccinated so even before he was vaccinated we were working on leash walking so he doesn't really leash bite he doesn't really pancake he will sit down if he's if he's a bit overwhelmed but i'll kind of like get a treat out for him um but we've we've been on like how many little walks we don't walk for long because he's only like three months and a bit old but we'll walk for uh, bursts of maybe 15 minutes and the first time we went was really good the second time we went wasn't as good but he's gradually getting better we went for a mini walk today into town and he was he was really really good he, he it's still like a sensory overload for him but he was really really good no leash biting kind of just like walked like beside me he's starting to understand that he needs to walk to heel even though he is a little bit stubborn about that um he's obviously at an age where he wants to sniff everything but I'm just trying to kind of like let him be a dog but also kind of like you need to 
walk beside me because also I want to keep my eye on him and see that he doesn't like eat anything weird off the street and stuff um but in all in all it's been good like his sleeping is really good I have a very tight schedule which is basically like we wake up in the morning he has his food then he has some playtime then he'll have a nap and then I kind of repeat that until about eight o'clock when it's it's about bedtime sometimes if I'm feeling generous I'll let him kind of like sleep next to me on the couch while I'm watching Netflix or, or whatever but uh, most times I will try and put him in his crate um he did jump over his playpen that is something that happened he jumped over his playpen at um around how many weeks was he at, at, that was about three three months um, his playpen is a little bit low. It's kind of like the standard playpens, but because he's so intelligent, he was able to kind of frantically climb over it and like, like he was still scared while he did it, but I think he jumped and I was in the bathroom and I just heard this thud and I came out and he was kind of like pacing near the door. So we're still working on separation anxiety. I got rid of the playpen because I was like, there's no point, but I kept his crate and his crate is very, very secure and he's learning to kind of like self-soothe now. So if I do leave, I'm, I'm learning to kind of like leave in like segments. So if I do leave, I'll leave for like five minutes, then I increase it to 10 minutes. Now we're at like 40 minutes. Um, and sometimes if I really have to work, like I've been doing renovations for a brand in, in my bedroom, so I have to be in my bedroom and I don't necessarily want him to be in here. So um, I have to get him used to kind of being away from me at, at points. Um, so he's getting used to self-soothing. So he will us usually, he used to cry for a good like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes crying if I wasn't there. But now he'll cry for like three, four minutes and then he'll just sit and kind of sit in his bed. I always put treat, um, not treats, but like I always put a Kong in there or his chew toy in there or like a chewy like um, bone in there, like for his age. But he will not take it. He will not until I come back. Um, today, I think I saw him chewing on one of his his toys, which was, which is progress. But he will kind of just slump there until I come back. So we're kind of getting over that hurdle. But he's really coming along with his separation anxiety. I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's necessary, like if I have to go to the gym or if I have to like be doing my work, like I can't kind of be playing with him all the time but having a schedule has really really helped so now he's sleeping when he wakes up he'll probably have some food I'm gonna go and get some rice and chicken for him because I think I've run out um this is probably a good opportunity while he's asleep actually to do that um but yeah it's been really good I've just been exposing him to as much stuff as possible I've been making sure he's he's been on like four play dates three or four play dates with my friends who have similar sized dogs and it's really helped him come out of his shell in terms of his confidence in terms of like his people skills and his dog skills and his socialization um because I don't want a dog who's afraid of other dogs I also want a dog who's like you know like they can fight back if they need to even if it's in a friendly way I don't want a dog who's like petrified of other dogs and that's kind of how he was at the start and that is not the case anymore Aslan wants to play with everyone so kind of teaching him when to play and when to not um, and balance that but it's been good like he's he's really starting I think we're really starting to get get to know each other and we really do have a bond like I never expected we would have a bond this quickly like it's only week three coming to week four now it'll be four weeks in nine days so it's literally still three weeks um, but everyone's always saying how much of a bond we have, which is really, really sweet. So yeah, it's been good. It's really been good. I'm looking forward to like him just being older and just chilling down a little bit, just a tiny bit and looking forward to doing lots of Christmassy stuff. And yeah, that'll be good. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was like useful and stuff and, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Bye.